welcome to Freddie Do Makes. My name is Fran. This is my channel where I generally talk about everything that I have been making over the last two weeks. So mainly knitting. There is a little bit of embroidery, but not much today. Um, so if that's your type of thing, then please settle down, grab a cuppa or whatever you fancy, and we'll sit and we'll talk through what I've been doing. So welcome. It's a lovely bright Tuesday morning, um, and yeah, I've been busy. I've got lots of stuff finished, which is good. I've not got many works in progress because I've finished everything. Um, I hope you're all well. I hope you've all been busy, or not. Maybe you've been chilling out. We've had the coronation, haven't we, over the last... We've had some bank holidays in the UK. So, yes, I had a lovely, it was, well, it was a miserable raining bank holiday Monday yesterday. It rained pretty much all day. So, Minnie and Mr B just played on the Xbox, played Minecraft most of the day. <laughs> and um, I knit on my love note. So, yes. Um, that's it really. We watched the coronation. We had a little party at my sister's. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was nice. So I'm, I'm, it's first thing this morning, so I'm just drinking my English breakfast. Um, but I have got it in my Brotherhood of Man. Is that what they were called? Yeah, Brotherhood of Man. Save Your Kisses for Me, a song for Europe. It's coming up. It's first semi-final tonight. Well, last night will be for you. Um, and I'm setting off to visit my friends tomorrow morning. And I will be there until Sunday to have some fantastic Eurovision and fellowship catch-ups. We're going to have a great time. I'm looking forward to it. It is much needed at the moment. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yes, it is much needed at the moment. So, let's crack on. We'll start with what's on the wall. Um, you're in a slightly different position because... My love note is blocking on the floor, so I'm sort of squidged in the corner. So we've got the Hitchhiker Shawl, which is a recently finished shawl. Um, it's a one skein wonder knit using some lovely, gorgeous yarn from Noodle Soup um, in the colourway Gulfweed Cosmos, I believe. She's currently dyeing some in the pans at the moment, so watch out on her... Um, shop if you want a lovely skein of this colourway or more. I think it would make a lovely garment also. But anyway, that's that. So we'll start with finished objects because I have... Well, I have three, but one of them I can't show you because it's currently on the floor. But I'll, I'll, take a, I'll take a video of it and insert it in and then we'll have a big reveal next next time. So, first of all, I am wearing my first finished object, which is my beautiful Le Pouf cardigan. I'll stand up so you can see it. So, this is a lovely pattern by um, Beta Jezik. Jezik? I don't know how you say it, but I'll put it up on the screen. She's the um, person behind um, Hedgerow, no, Hedgehog Fibres. So she does um, kits for this kind of thing, where it's like potluck um, fades. But my um, yarn is using um, B hat no, P Pixie Yarns. Sorry, I'm terrible today, forgetting everybody's names. Um, Pixie Yarns, it's uh, the Barefoot Fade. It was a five skein, 100 gram um, set. I've, I've done a film so of me wearing it full length, so I'll, I'll, I'll put that here. Um, so, yes, hang on, let me get my, I must have a, a card here where I can, I feel a bit out of breath. So, um, so yeah, it was the Pixie Yarns Barefoot Fade, it's merino and nylon, you hold the, the yarn double throughout, um, starting with two, two strands of your first colour, whether that be your lightest or your darkest colour, um, and then you drop one strand and pick up your, one strand of the second colour, then 
you drop the first colour and you have two of the second colour and yada yada. So the five colours that I used are these five here. So you've got the very lightest and then I've got some leftovers here somewhere. So lightest. So this is the lightest colour. They didn't have names, it was just the barefoot fade. So you can get it in 50 grams, I think, and in minis. So this is the first colour. And then that's faded into this colour. And then this really bright tealy green, blue. It's greener in real life than that is. It's not really showing. Um, and then a very little left of the darkest colour, but this is the next darkest. The next one. No? And then this is the darkest colour. So the, uh, the last two are fairly similar. There's just less variegation in the last colour. Um, so you can see the fade there in my arm. So the lightest, the next, the next, the next, and then the last one. So if you want to know details about um, how much colours I used for each thing, there's detailed um, notes on my Ravelry and I will copy that onto the website as well. So if you've not got, if you want to know, um, I'll put that on the website. Which um, So if you want to find me anywhere and you want information about the links and things like that, I'll just put the card up here. So you've got me on Instagram and on Ravelry as um, at Franny Do Makes. There's also a Facebook page which is Franny Do Page, but it's the same thing as my Instagram. And then any website, any show notes or information or links to the patterns or the dyers or project bags or anything like that, that'll all be linked on the website which is www.freddydo.co.uk. If you want to contact me you can contact me on any of those and there's also an email which is fran at frannydo.co.uk so i did make it longer as i always do so it's down to about i say the very top of my bum that's where it is it's a bit lower than my waistband um i followed the pattern basically I was worried that it'd be a bit tight here, but with the blocking, it's come out fine. It's it's not meant to close. You're not meant to put a button band on it or anything. The sleeves are lovely. There's a, you knit straight and then you do some increases and then rapid decreases and then you cuff. I did my cuff quite long because I like to have my, I don't like it to ride up. So I like it to be down right by my hand. And yeah, so I used up most of my yarn. I've only got odds and ends left. Um, so of the first colour, I used 91 grams, so 386 metres of that. The second one, I used 77 grams, um, which is 327 metres. <laughs> Of the third colour I used 86 grams and that's 365 metres and then of the next colour I used 93.9 grams which is 399 metres and the last colour I used 97 grams 97.6 which was very little left of this um, and that was 416 meters so as you can see i used um the darkest color held double for the whole knit band so that goes all the way up round and down um and the long cuffs um, i used all in that um what to say really it's ever so comfortable a lot of people in the thing have found that it slips off or well, mine doesn't slip off i wore it all day the other day for work and it was fine. I think sometimes you might feel like it's going 
or if you've got something else that could pull off with it maybe but not me i think it's fine the yarn is lovely it's blocked out so lovely and soft um i've got some more yarn from pixie yarn for a, a shawl as well somewhere so yeah i was a bit worried about the fade part way through because there's a bit of a chunk here but I don't mind it now that it's finished. I think it the colours look so nice together. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend it. It's a lovely pattern. It took me longer than I wanted it to because I cast it on at the start of the year, the 1st of January, and it's only just got completed. But it was a bit of a slog, all this. And this purling, obviously, because it's a cardigan. But there's no... It's a simple pattern. There's just some raglan increases. Um, the the hardest bit, I suppose, would be picking up this neck band. So you could have, I think in hindsight, I could have done slip stitches. But the pickup looks really nice and neat along there. And she says how many to do per row. So it's dead easy to follow. There's a jump. A jumper version as well, which would be probably lovely. And she's now done, sorry, a version um, where you hold it with more hair. So it's like a fluffy one, which looks lovely, really nice. So, yeah. I'm all done. It's finished. Look at my poofy sleeves. I'm really pleased with it. Really, really pleased. It's nice to have... I'm really pleased with the fit as well, because I was worried about the fit, but it fits lovely. <clears throat> it's just what I wanted. Perfect. So that's that. So yeah, we can pack those um, little bits away and they can go in the blanket um, jar. And that's the, <clears throat> the project bag. Oh, that's the um, swatch. So I shall put this, I'll hang that on the swatches and then, oh, I suppose, and then I can um, put away the project bag, ready to be used for something else. So um, I'll go into my second finish job that I can show you, which is a pair of socks for my sister. Oh, they've just been blocking, but they are dry. So these are, <clears throat> sorry, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. These are the Basket Case Socks by Lena Hoimella. Lene, sorry. Um, and then using some Lockwood Fibres yarn. This was from her Mystery Yarn Club, which was based on Sea Creatures. The club ran from 21 to 22, and this was the January 22 Mystery Yarn colourway. So it was 50 gram set, came with this and this. Um, I've got very little of the main colour left and this of this gorgeous illuminous yellow which I will put in the blanket box so yeah I am really pleased with these for I didn't follow the pattern exactly but it was a toe up pattern so I started from the toe and did a Turkish cast on it's 64 stitches on a 2.5 millimeter needle um, and you do this slip stitch pattern on the top of the foot there. it's really nice it shows off the variegated yarn really lovely so that's that um in terms of the pattern has a short row heel which i did and i think i could have misunderstood the pattern I think I didn't go and read it back but I think you did the short rows and then you left 
extra stitches in this top section because when I finished my heel the pattern has you do the um, the textured stitches all the way around on the top of the leg but when I did that it was too tight and I couldn't get it over my foot so my sister wouldn't be able to get it over hers so um, I took that back and I didn't so I instead I did um, a Fitch Lips Kiss heel but with some gut, uh, gutter increases so I increased four times I think so that'd be an extra eight stitches and then I just did my fish lips kiss heel over the central 32 stitches and then I rapidly decreased the remaining ones so it wasn't too um, loose on the leg but like I said I think in the pattern it maybe left you with some extra stitches to allocate for the tightness of the stitch pattern um, but I'm fine with it um, so yeah, it's got the texture all the way up and then a 2 by 2 rib cuff for about 15 rows and elastic bind off. So yeah, they're ready to go for my, to my sister. Two of them. So I'm hoping, because she likes heel flop and gusset of the ones that I've made her. So I thought I'll try her with a fish lips kiss because that's my favourite heel to knit. Um, hair freshener. Um, see if these fit any better with that extra gusset increase because I can always do that on any others. So there we go. Feels lovely. So they're ready to go. So that's the basket case socks. Right. So, as I said, I have finished my love note. It's on the blocking. I'll put a video in. Um, so I won't talk too much about it at the moment because I'll talk about it when um, I show it next time. But it's lovely. Um, I've... I put extra on the length, I did uh, um, elbow length sleeves, I followed the pattern so I did the provisional cast on and um, I knit the lace, I did the body, I did the short rows for the back and then the only thing I did differently to the pattern is I did it in a different order so once I'd finished the body of the sweater I then went and picked up the neckband and put on the uh, ribbon and then I did the sleeves because I wanted to check the fit before I did I don't know why because the sleeves would be the same length but anyway that's how I did it I was going to block it before I put the sleeves on but I didn't need to so everything's fine I've checked the length because um, it's blocked out quite a bit from because when I was trying it on it was a little bit hovering over the waistband but I think it's pulled down to as long as my Felix and in fact a little bit longer in the back obviously but the yarn it's oh it's lovely I didn't I didn't alternate skeins and I don't think I needed to anyway um the colorway has worked out lovely so these are the yarns oops that I used which were from skin and the stitch So the main four ply yarn is this that's called Cryus. It was a club colourway. I got it from Yarn Day also. She just had some leftovers. And the Surrey is this called Sapphire, which is I think part of her main collection. It's just a solid. Um there you go. So it does mute that brightness a little bit. But it's fine. It's still a really lovely colour. So, as I said, that's all I'll say about it now. Um, but I finished it last night and then I got it. I literally knit all day on it yesterday. So, I just finished... Did I finish the body the day before? 
think I'd, I yeah, I'd finished the body the day before. <clears throat> and then, I'd just done, I did the neck band and the sleeves yesterday. My arms are feeling it though. I can, like here, I've over, over stretched my arms, I think, so I'll have to take it a bit easy today. So that's all my garments, all my garments are done, are off. I've got literally hardly anything on the needles. Just some socks and my blanket, which I've not brought up because I've only done, when I've done a full row, I'll bring it back, I'll bring it up and show you. Um, so, yeah, so that's finished. So on my needles at the moment, I have, I cast on, where is it, oh here. I'd cast on this sock for my sister, I was meant to give it to her for Christmas, but I didn't finish it. So I thought, well, I might as well get them going. So I um, cast on and started that. So I might take this with me on my little holiday as something to knit on while I'm sitting about if I'm waiting or if I've got some time in the morning or something. So that's that. It's just a simple ribbed sock using some West Yorkshire spinners. Um, signature four play, I think it's called Candy Cane. Living in my Stitch by Mrs. D Christmas bag. There's no rules, is there? Don't, who says I can't do a Christmas sock? So, the other thing that I'm making is a little shorty sock for my dad. I've knit the first one. This is, um, I've put it on the blocker, but you, it's not the right size so this is the slight socks by Lisa Much so it's um, a folded cuff a short um, a heel flap and gusset and a normal wedge toe um, that's just using some more West Yorkshire spinners this is the Kingfisher colorway I use a 2.25 needle the 72 stitch sock. So yeah, my dad, he can't, because his hands are going, he can't pull up a full sock, but he's getting cold feet. So I says I'll make him a little shorty and then it might be better for him. And it's quite, I've made it quite loose so he can get it on and off easier. So he tried it on. Um, the other day and he said it was fine so with blocking it'll block out a bit more as well but I actually quite enjoyed the um, heel flap and gusset on this one it's not a very long gusset you know it don't go on and on for ages sometimes it feels like they go on for ages but I enjoyed doing that maybe it's the yarn I liked this but I've um, I had this left over from knitting a pair for my sister and um, I didn't have to run out <laughs> so I won't have enough to make a full sock for my dad so I've ordered another ball and I also ordered some plain orange so I'll probably make myself some or Mr B some out of this colourway as well because I think it's nice so that's those so that's half done so I've got another one to make of that but I need some more yarn for it that one doesn't have a bag. Put that there. Oh, I'm feeling a bit sick. I should have had some breakfast. I'll have some when I'm done. Um, what else have I worked on? Oh, I did a little bit on my embroidery. So I finished my first mountain and I'm on to my sec. I've done my second one. So then I've got the white to do and then the bits around. So, although, you know, I said I'd bought those um, needle threaders from Amazon. The little metal ones. Well, don't buy them because they're rubbish. And it just sliced through my thread. So instead of threading the needle, it's just like it was a snip. So don't buy those. They're rubbish. 
Okay. Is that everything? Right, I also have some mail. I have firstly something that I purchased and secondly a lovely, lovely gift. So the first thing that I purchased, I didn't mean to purchase these, but I'd just been watching Jude on Stranded Dye Works and he'd made these, oh what were they called, these mitts, split, split decision mitts they were called. And they used um, two colours of DK. Um, and then I saw this. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to be buying the yarn, but I don't have much DK. So this is 250 gram skeins of DK weight yarn from Lonely Mountain Yarns. Oh, I love these labels. And this is it's Frodo. So I don't know whether to cake this up and take this with me because me I don't know why we do this, but we're all when I meet up with my my three friends and we meet up for your vision, we call ourselves the Fellowship. I can't remember how it started. We had these posters when we were at uni. Of, I don't even know where we got them from. They were long, thin posters of all the characters out of Lord of the Rings. And I had Frodo, because Fran Frodo, alliteration. So this was my colour, so I had to get it. It's this lo lovely sort of variegated, lovely autumnal, and then the green. So I'm really sorry, I don't know what her name is, who dyes the Lonely Mountain Yarns, but she's based out of Northern Ireland. She has some gorgeous colourways. At the moment, she's got loads of this um, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Um, well, I think that must be what she does because Lonely Mountains, that's Lord of the Rings, isn't it? But even the label looks like it looks. Look at the font. Well done. So, yes, I could cake these up and make some split decision mitts because that's where I bought them from. for. Oh, what might be nice? Look at that! Oh, for autumn. Mm, love it. So I bought those myself, and then I had a lovely package delivered the other day. So I don't know if you watch Cherie on Ollie and Bella. She has a lovely podcast and vlog series that she does over on her YouTube channel, and um, I'm friends with her on um, Instagram. And I'd mentioned the other day, just commented, because she was knitting a pair of socks for Jessie, I think, her daughter. And um, I says, oh, that's lovely. That that yarn is lovely. She said, oh, do you want a little bit for your blanket? Because I've been making the mitered square blanket. And I says, oh, that'd be lovely if you've got some to spare. I says, I only need five grams, you know. And she said, all right, I'll pop it in the post for you. And I should have known better, because... She's such a lovely person. So she sent me a lovely little card with a nice little message inside. And Jessie sent some lovely sent a lovely colouring page of the crown, the king's crown, and a big bar of mini eggs chocolate for Minnie. And then I got a little package as well. In mine, I've got this beautiful hand knitted dishcloth that's cotton that Cherie's made for me which is lovely she sent me some tea which to be honest I need this all at the moment relax relax she also sent me a bar of chocolate which I've eaten <laughs> and then I got this little little bag which says has it got something on here Love, faith and hope on this little, oh, sorry I've got my camera on the other side so I'm showing it the wrong way, this little bead here and um, not just one little ball of yarn, there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven little balls of yarn. 
I can't even remember which is the one that I said that I liked. <laughs> it was a pinky one, so it must be one of these. Um, but yeah, they're all balled up into cute little balls. With a little label saying where they're from and what the colourway is. There's this glittery one, which is from Green Lambkin. And it's called Peach Poppies. Oh, this one is lovely. This is Nuggly Stars yarn. Oh, doesn't have a name, but oh, how lovely is that? This lovely green. There's even some, I'm sure, that she dyed herself. This one. So, here it is. So, I've thanked her anyway, but I just want to say another massive, massive thank you. Yes, a massive thank you, Shubi. Thank you so much. Um, I needed that pick me up this week. <laughs> And it's made me want to get back onto my blanket because it's been a bit um, left out at the moment. Um, yes, so that's all my projects. I've got some space now on my needles to cast on something else. So I thought I'll have space for a garment and space for a shawl. So I want to do a swatch for the Lizzie sweater, the brioche sweater and I'm going to cake up the yarn ready for when I come back to cast on um, the doodler shawl. That's what I'm going to do because they're on my list and that'll be the last two off my make nine from like two years ago <laughs> and that'll be all of them. So yeah that's all of those. Oh and I did also purchase my advent calendar for this year. Um, which I've purchased from Helen over at Giddy Yarns, who has, is doing a gorgeous fade based on this image, if I can find it. Um, but basically, it's it's based on um, A Midsummer Night's Dream. I have ordered, I'm so excited, I've just gone for the 10 gram one this time, and then I shouldn't have too many leftovers. 10 grams sparkle with a 100 grand skein for Christmas day, but I might use that as a treat and just open that when it comes. I don't know, I don't know, because Christmas day is so busy, I might just open it before and have it as a treat for when I need it. I might just put it in a, put it away somewhere, and if I need a treat, I might just have it there to open. So yeah. Yeah, so I've got, um, what have I got left to do? Oh, those, those. I have also caked up the yarn. Um, I did cast on some fluorite socks for Mr. B using that noodle soup yarn. This stuff. Um, but because it's from um, a sock blank, it's a bit wibbly wobbly and I was using a 2.5 needle and it was too loose so I'm gonna cast on again with a 2.25 is that what I've got in here I don't know um a 2.25 needle and I've also done um a template of Mr B's foot so I can measure it on that because it was too loose before so there you go that's everything from today um, it's been a bit of a rubbish couple of weeks really, my dad's not doing too well, he's going in for his um, feeding tube operation next, oh, on, on Sunday, um, and they're doing lots of adaptations in his home as well for wheelchair access and things for when he needs a wheelchair. Um, so 
so yeah it's generally just a bit crap <laughs> so i'm looking forward to my weekend my time away with my friends because i think i need that break and yes chin up chin up okay so thank you for joining me today i hope you have a lovely crafty couple of weeks going forward and um yes take care of yourselves have a lovely time i don't know how much knitting i will get done over this next couple of weeks but i will have the love note to show you next time and probably some new cast-ons um, for next time as well so take care of yourselves um take time for yourselves i will say and relax take some time for yourself because everyone needs it at the moment um happy knitting and i'll see you in a couple of weeks time bye